Hello everyone, this is Yakur Rao with another UE4 tutorial. In this episode, we will look into the U property macro and cover the visible anywhere, visible defaults only and visible instance only specifier. The main difference between the edit specifiers and the visible specifier is that if you use the visible sp uh, specifier, that property will be only visible inside the editor. You're not going to be able to modify it anymore. So you could use that, for example, to show some default values to the uh, Blueprint programmer. Um, but the main, um, at least in my point of view, the main meaning of these visible specifiers are in combination with uh, components. And we will come into that. First, let's make an example. Let's use the visible anywhere flag for now. Uh, specifier, sorry. An F name and let's give a name the name. <laughs> Pretty creative today here. Let's initialize this. Also the name. And compile. So we will see this property now, the name, inside, for example, the Blueprint editor. But it will only be visible, but not modifiable, as I mentioned already. Okay, reloaded. Let's create our blueprint and open. And if you look now, where is it? Ah, here, my actor. Here's our property, the name, and it is initialized with the name. And if you try to change it, it will not work. And because we use the anywhere suffix as um, it has the same meaning as we described in the uh, edit specifier. So that means we will see it inside the blueprint editor details panel. Uh, so defaults section. And if we create the instance in the map, so we will see that property here also, the name, but we cannot change it. Now, if we use, let me show that again. So defaults only, defaults only, and I'm sure everyone knows already what's going to happen. We will see this property only inside the Blueprint editor in the defaults panel here or details panel where we change the default settings of the properties. And so it is visible here. And now if we look at the instance in the map, you will see it disappeared. And now if we say instance only, and I'm sure everyone knows again what's going to happen. This time it will be visible here. So per instance, here, now we can see it again. And in the Blueprints editor in the details panel, it disappeared. Okay, so that is all to the anywhere defaults only and instance only suffixes. Now let's get to the point when we use those visible specifiers in combination with components.
let's say visible or better let's do this edit anywhere and use the component some people are doing this you static mesh component for example let's call this mesh uh, yeah let's I mean let's do it correct here let's initialize with null and create here the object call this mesh and use it as a root component and here we will include the header file so let's compile this so now here we have to look a bit closer so I'm getting confused too so what we are saying here is uh, we're using at the moment the edit specifier so that means that this variable is going to be a property and this will be modifiable that means oops again um, and this variable is actually actually a pointer to an instance of a use static mesh component so that means we will be able to see where is it let's select here now the component and here you can see the property and now we we have here a check a choice box of field where we can select different types of static mesh components so because we said uh, edit anywhere so we can change the instance that is being referenced in that property and the properties of that component can be changed now here and now I'm to 95% sure that people actually don't want to use this kind of feature so that you want to be able to modify um, the, the static mesh component instance so that you can select between different what you want is to use visible anywhere at least and then if you do so you will see what's going to happen now just give a second Did I do a typo? No. Okay, so select the component. And now what you're seeing is, you see the properties of this static mesh component and we can modify that. And that is because we're using the visible, which means this property uh, is only visible not modifiable but this property is a pointer to an instance don't forget that so and that makes you able to just select this here and have all the properties of your component listed and yeah I think that is usually what most of the people want and yeah so that's it uh, for this episode so if you have any questions, leave me a comment and thanks for watching and hopefully seeing you in the next episode.